Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it from one of our DuPont rookies, one of our top rookies so far this year. Let's hear it for Dylan LeBeau, our driver of the week. He got a career best third place finish in the 50 lapper a couple of weeks ago. He's been running trucks and e mods this year. He's got help from former champion, his father, David LeBeau. Look for good things out of Dylan here tonight and for the rest of the season, and hopefully for a long, long time to come. The man with the bounty on his head. Field coming off. Turn number four. We're looking for the first green flag of the night. Oh, ben Say just kind of getting out of the way there. West railing in that well rust colored car to the top spot. And, okay, natural car. I like that. To the lead now goes the 69. Now the bounty not on the line here in the heat race. This is just a warm-up qualifying position on the line. Championship points to the winner. James Satoris probably sweating just a little bit when he sees Wes Railing show up as he dirt tracks the 69 all the way through the corner. Here comes Wes. Wes getting that old thrust bucket thing right to the back bumper of Shane's Crown Vic. And he's going to push Shane. He's going to help him get sideways. He's going to tap him again. He's not going to get the bounty if he wrecks him, especially in the heat race. Shane having to race a little bit here tonight. The last couple weeks, he's been trying to lap the field, and hopefully West Railing's 51 car will stay together for him here tonight. He can give Shane a run here. So Shane out there with the crown pick. West Railing and that old 51. Oh, John Gross is going to go around. John Gross around 93. The tires up, spin it back around, not hit anything, but the caution is out with three complete. So the other Crown Vic goes around. Now, folks, I'll tell you, there are a ton of Crown Vics available. A ton of them are already built into race cars if you know where to look. So two laps officially up on the scoreboard, six to go here in this first heat race. You see the E-Mods getting lined up. They will be up next for their eight-lap heat race. All the heats, eight laps here tonight. Six laps to go for the Bomber Bees, and they're doing it without the pace car. They're just that good. Here they come, back to green. Wes Railing, Shane Satoris. Duel once again, and Wes Railing getting the jump on the restarts. At 51, looking strong on the drop of the green flag. And again, folks, the bounty only for the feature. So if Wes wins, well, he'll get max points for one of the heat race, and that's about it. He's got Shane's first. inside once again. Well, Shane getting down on the apron, some close quarters racing. I want to take out half the field here. These guys better be careful. Pay window is not even close to being open here tonight. Shane Satoris, third track, and it there on the inside line around the 51. West Railing going to go down the apron through the grass, and John goes over the save it. Uh, you know, John told me he put some money in his car here this week, and I don't know that that did him any good, because he's now had a couple of spins. Green flag is still out for the moment. John Gross is refired, and we are going to stay green as we still have Shane Satoris fighting off the West Railing. Here's a good racing up front. On the 93, he's gone around twice so far. Wild action the first five laps of this thing. Look at Wes Whaley giving Shane Satoris the business on one and two. Now the 69 pulled away by a couple car lanes. Wes Whaley really driving that car hard. And he's going to slide sideways. There ain't going to be no tires left on that thing. It's almost entertaining bomber racing that we've seen here this season. Shane, he's having to work tonight. Smoke coming out of the 51 car now. Six complete, less than two to go now. So Shane Satoris in the 69, sideways, but it's fast. He's coming to the white flag, and now you can see why the bounty's on him. West, 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 West Raven, he's backed off a little bit here. And hopefully, uh, he backed way off that time. Hopefully not an issue on that thing. Now Shane Satoris, he looks like he's half throttled down the back straight. We'll see if the 51's going to make it. I don't know here, folks. Shane Satoris in the 69. The man with the bounty on his head. He's going to win the heat race. That'll give him 25 championship points, padding his point lead. 
Battle for the second spot here. 51 West Railing, 58 Ben Say. Say is going to get there. 51 car West Railing takes second. Ben Say is third, and John Gross going to round out the field right around the median. So all in all, not a bad turnout for the Ewoks. Green flag is Shoot Matt already up to Ford side by side with the rookies now. For the race lead, Jeffrey White and that 41 with the wild cards. Car looked pretty quick in practice, but it's hard to really tell in practice what everyone For Michael Mark, the toss ball. Look at Jeffrey White getting aggressive. Looks the bumper in the back end of the 16 year old. Hunting for the lead as Matt Jarrett gets down the lead. Really strong. I'm telling you, on a night like this where there's not a whole ton of race cars, it opens up opportunities for some other drivers. Oh, trouble off two. Curtis Robinson walks up to 17 and just about took off the front end of 52 of Hank Baker. Looks like the 52 just got through. Boy, I looked up and I thought for sure Hank Baker was going to get collected in that. And thankfully he did not. Kurt Robinson writes the number 17 car. Heat race coming up after this. I do want to let you know, last call for 50-50 tonight will be during intermission. Intermission going to come quick. Just one more heat race to go after this one before intermission. And we're hopeful to draw the 50-50 after the day of Super Bowl. Very aggressive move there for Matt Jarrett. And now where's he going to go? Down the road. Pulls out. With the top spot for the moment, here comes Matt Jarrett trying to follow him around the outside. Three wide grabs is Jeffrey right in down the inverse. Right I know you're quick, buddy. Oh, over the contact there. So much for that. I thought it was going to let him go. Here in the seat race for Matt Jarrett. We'll see if Jeffrey White can go up there and battle with him. This time, by five complete, three to go. Leave White number 41 and Jeffrey White down his inside. Obstacle State's about to go in the air here. in the three car, showing the way with the point leader Bobby Holly already up to second. The fight is on for fourth, though, from John Hodge and Greg Dam. He did not get off to a great start. That inside line did not get rolling, and that's trapped second place point man, Justin Spears in the 48. A bad dash from third on back, top two trying to break away. Second team showed vast improvement here a week ago after all oh, a disastrous first time. Around him, 
battle for that third spot. Oh, Greg going way up there in the dust. We had a side-by-side -side battle for the lead. Bobby Holly around the outside of George Spears in the back. Side-by-side for side, lead, side-by-side side for third. We'll make it fourth now. Oh, George Spears sideways. Everybody trying to And the man to beat all season long. This time, by the way, that play at the 17, Brian Mylar begins to fade. The dude, David Gould, getting around his outside there. Yes, they matter. They absolutely do. And starting position on the line before the end. Everybody has a lot to race for. Ooh, Don Ball walking up the way, showing some smoke here. Oh, Field spread out, single file, which that's kind of what I like to see in the videos. Especially on a lap like this, don't you see anybody turn up losing a race car before the main event? Fire heat racing here tonight.